St. Nicholas Day was one of the highlights of the, of the years for me, especially as a young grade schooler. Television had the intocht of St. Nicholas, the entry of St. Nicholas, where he and his helpers attempted to dock in its yearly changing harbour. At the time, there were already many nameless helpers. Two of them who were noticeable were the, the head Pete and the guide Pete. The first was a non-nonsense character, while the other was a, a somewhat prideful character who refused to follow advice of others. But nonetheless, the ship made it in the nick of time. Take a guess who of these two were more popular. In fact, most of the beaten were usually more beloved than Nicholas himself. Even as an introverted kid, I visited the harbour or went to the parade where the good saint docked and at, my home, uh, at my home city. And while we waited for the evening of 5 December to get out, to get our gifts, and while we waited for the evening of 5 December to get our gifts, we left one of our shoes each filled with a carrot at the stove. For the horse, a miracle. In return, we got a small candy in the morning. Well, in reality, it was just our mother who, who put two carrots in the shoes. It took a while for us to find out. <laughs> it was also the only time of the year I enjoyed gym, gym class, where there was a parkour course simulating the work that Peter did each night, Balance, balancing over horses and whatnot to deliver made up uh, presents to put in the chimneys. As, as a kid, I didn't want to be a fireman. I wanted to be Swartier Pete. So, what is St. Nicholas Day? You might learn this if you haven't made up your mind that this is a recent holiday already. Basically, this is a celebration of the day of, of that, of the Turkish Catholic Saint, St. Nicholas, known for usually his kindness and generosity, especially to, toward the kids. Celebrated by Catholics, Protestants and non-Christians alike. Nicholas was also the protector saint of the harbour, so it would not come as a surprise that the saint found traction among the Christians in the lowlands and its harbour, cities like Amsterdam, Antwerpen and Dordrecht, to name a few. For a long time the saint was more betrayed as a wicked spirit than a holy man on the holidays that would punish the wicked children at night. Of course, in each region the stories would differ. As times went on, Nicholas became more friendly, and thus another person was needed to, de to do the punishing. So, my favorite version was that Saint Nicholas tamed the devil himself, and he accompanied the holy saint in visiting the homes to the chimneys, turning him by, tr by traveling to so many chimneys as black as soot. Another was that the helper was just a normal man named Pete who traveled to Simley, resulting in a face black as suit or as a or as black as a coal miner fresh from work. Another was that Saint Nicholas freed a more slave, and that person chose to work in service of his liberator. It was only when the Netherlands was in his, it was only when the Netherlands was in its early years as a kingdom, when Emmons steam technology, technology was rather new, the holiday was united as it is today, and would enter the Netherlands with a small army of helpers. The call was another reason why the white men on the ship were covered in black body paint. Unlike done for ages, the, make, the makeup made up for disguise stood so that the children wouldn't recognize the relatives in the crowd. The entry became a festival, and it would not take long for the Pitten to become acrobats, entertainers that gave away free candy for young and old alike, and making even a bigger appearance when the cinema and television was invented. It's a, it's a cool holiday, and as far as the only natural holiday that is our own, nobody is forced to join in the festivities. But for the following 20 years, a focal minor minority has a problem with the holiday. Saying that Pete is a, so, saying that Pete is a slave because we sing he's a he's a knecht, a servant or a helper. But we know what else is a knecht, a page, an assistant, and even a butler. 
she enslaving that word because someone has a black skin proves their intolerance, not a holiday. Going as far as removing the color of a skin by giving it color or resembling waffles. Pathetic. Right now, the libraries are banning Piet Boeke books. Well, those books are either about learning not to fear someone different or that they just deliver in gifts. <sighs> or this year, this, and also this year, the Saints even has to state on television that he won't have to take naughty children in a bag back to Spain. Children aren't as soft as the sugar animals we give around people. I won't stand for this. The first thing is cultural. The second, well, I was always taught to like someone for their character, not the color of the skin. And frankly, that it was these so-called tolerant rules teach. A black skin should not be excluded ever. And I can do that. So I beat is awesome. As he has been, be he or she, be African, European, Arabic or Asian. Doesn't matter. The skin color underneath the suit or coal shouldn't matter. It shouldn't be a crime to exist. We should have already learned that lesson.